So, you just died of anthrax. Tough luck, but there are some upsides, believe it or not. First of all, a lot of important people pay attention when you have anthrax poisoning, like the germ wizards over at the CDC. These guys are some of the best pathologists and toxicologists in the world, and if you're a germ nerd, meeting them is a pretty big deal. And let's face it, you're here, watching this, you are a germ nerd. Here's where it gets more James Bondy. You also get to beat at least one FBI agent. Ever since the anthrax attack in 2001, the CDC and the FBI have been called in on most inhalation-based cases of anthrax in the US. You know, just to check up on things, maybe try and save your life, make sure you're not a terrorist. Which brings us to the bad news. You were definitely investigated for being a bioterrorist, which is kind of the last thing you want to be accused of when it's literally going to be the last thing you're ever accused of. Even if your name is cleared, your friends and family were still asked a lot of uncomfortable questions about you before you died. And being grilled by the FBI isn't even where it ends for them. Now that you're dead, whenever anyone mentions bioweapons or grazing animals or weird deaths, everyone's gonna think of you. They're also gonna think of you anytime someone plays that song Madhouse by Anthrax, you know, the thrash rock band. So on the whole, Anthrax looks like a pretty bad choice. If I were you, I'd probably pick another poison. And as always, if you have a poison you'd like to hear about, let me know in the comments.